All right, Shalom, I'm Akim, this is your brother Karab, GMS Miami. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakah HaKadash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well, which are the top biblical teachers on the planet Earth today. Uh, greetings, blessing, and much love to all the sincere brethren throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to wake up the hopeful elect, which consists of one third of uh, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites here in America, and um, those of confusion and faith that are scattered abroad. Shalom. Okay. And uh, the title of this lesson is um, uh, Focus, Focus on the Kingdom Opposed to the curses, okay? Um, and the reason why, you know, I was prompted to do this lesson is, uh, you know, because um, our biggest enemy is in, is in our head, you know, our mind, our heart, or our lob, okay? And um, that's our biggest enemy. Why? Because um, that's where the spiritual war is being fought. It's being fought in our minds. And um, the, the beautiful part about it is... Um, the Heavenly Father is full of mercy and, and, and full of grace. Okay. And um what can happen a lot of times is that you can you can beat yourself up uh uh more than 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 you need to, you know. Um but the, the fact of the matter is we are we are we are our worst critics. Okay. And hey, hey, through the spirit, that's how the heavenly father set it up, man. Okay. So if you you're being hard on yourself, that means you got a good chance of uh you know, uh, making it out of here, man, you know, on the first resurrection. Okay. But the point is, man, that, hey, let's not, let's not focus on the curses, you know, which are the afflictions and the hell and the payments and, you know, all that, you know, the, the, uh, the denigrating stuff that we have to deal with. Okay. Because, uh, Hey, it's, it's pretty much water under the bridge at this point. Okay. <laughs> and if you, you look back to uh, antiquity, you know, we've been going through this as a nation of people, forever but like i said it's water under the bridge so now our focus needs to be on the kingdom of heaven and i, I needs to be made single as far as figuring out what we need to do to get on a chariot and then once you can once you can narrow everything down it kind of um it, it really doesn't leave any room for 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 doubt and, and bullshit now will satan stick his ugly face in and whisper things in your ear yep 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 and have you doubting yourself and beating yourself up, kicking yourself in your nuts, you know, <laughs> so to speak. But, uh, hey, we got we got a great book, uh, you know, one of the uh, 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 titles for it is The Comforter, man. You know, so there's for whatever situation we're going through, there's scriptures that will comfort us, you know, and keep us uh, keep us headstrong, you know, on this uh, tra uh, traverse, on this tri uh this uh this this course that the Heavenly Father has put us on, man, you know, because uh, Lord willing, we're part of the lake. Uh, nothing can deter us from the love of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, okay? And but the the manifestation of that is going back into the scriptures, okay? And always staying attached to the Spirit, okay? And following who the Heavenly Father set up to be your spiritual fathers and leaders and teachers, okay? And if you do that, it's impossible for you to fail, okay? Because that hey, that's the scriptures, man. Who, who whoever puts his faith. Who, like the scriptures say, who has um, who has trusted in the Lord and been confounded, man, or roughly paraphrasing or condemned, you know? So you know it's uh it's uh one plus one equals two at the end of the day. You 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 put all your trust and faith in the heavenly Father and you do the things that He commanded us to the best of your ability. You're gonna be saved, okay? So in other words, don't beat don't beat yourself up over stuff that you know that was that that's water under the bridge. You know that's gonna happen. You know, we're going to go the fuck off. We're going to. OK, but we just have to keep our, our head on the, on the, on the straight and narrow uh, so that we don't get too down or get too in a rut because, you know, the most high is all about balance. OK, so the first precept uh, we're going to open up with is um, uh, this is uh, second Ezra chapter 16, verse 7, 7. It says, woe be unto them that are bound with their sins. And covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns, that no man may travel through. Okay, and that's how we were before we came into this wonderful, beautiful ministry, man. Okay, 
we were bound with our sins. But, you know, through the redemption of uh, uh, of, of the first begotten son, uh, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose name is Yahweh Shah. Look, we've been uh, we've been uh, adopted back to the heavenly father. OK, so knowing that, man, hey. You know, you, you you put off that old man. You you die every day, like the scriptures uh, tell us to do, like Paul spoke of, dying every day, which 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 entails killing off that old man. Okay, but uh, hey, the the key word here it says, "Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins." Okay, so our job is to overcome our sins. Okay, will we continue to go off in this thing? Yeah, yeah, we will. Okay, but the key thing is to not do it willingly, and then when you do. Don't put a pistol in your mouth and blow your brains out about it, you know. Okay, Paul even spoke about that, about uh, the, you know, the thing that he knoweth not to do that that he doeth. You know, uh, it, it is sin that worketh in us. Why? Because we in this wicked ass flesh, which was uh pretty much um, which uh this flesh that we're in is is pretty much uh created out of sin, you know, so to speak. So it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You know, you just can't get too down on yourself about it. And if you, you you are feeling down, hey, we got scriptures. We got the scriptures, okay? So uh, this is um this is Romans. This is Romans fourteen, and I started uh uh twenty two. Uh, is Romans fourteen and twenty two? Has thou faith? Have it to thyself before the Salak, let me read that again. This is Romans 14 and 22. It says, Has thou faith? Have it to thyself before the Most High. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in the thing which he alloweth. Okay? It says, Happy, man. Happy is he that condemneth not himself. Okay? That don't make sense for you to condemn your own self. Now, are we our worst critics? Of course. Do we get on ourselves for fucking up? Yeah. Yeah. But don't condemn yourself, you know? Because condemnation means... <laughs> You're going to get hit with a nuclear missile, man, or be judged by the Heavenly Father, okay? Just learn from your mistakes and keep trucking, man, you know? Verse 23, and he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith, for whatsoever is not of faith is sin, okay? So that's the big thing. That's what's going to be tested here. That's what we signed up for, to show, not to say, to show the Heavenly Father we have faith, man. And how do we show that? By our works, by keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, pushing his word, showing charity, loving kindness to the brotherhood, you know, being diligent, walking with temperance, you know, exuding all those virtues, man. OK. And, and, and another thing, don't, don't forget about what you've done, man. You know, now, if you stop, it doesn't matter what you've done. But if you still continue, you fighting this good fight of faith. Like we're commanded to do, and you, 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 you know, you're enduring. Hey, you know, the Most High is not unrighteous to forget thy works, man. You know, if you've been in the faith a year, within a year, man, you've done a lot of studying and working and exhorting and trying to teach. You know, all that good stuff, showing the fruits of the Spirit, man. Within a year, okay, and and and, and it just increases daily. And the Most High is not gonna forget that, you know. He's not gonna forget that. He sees everything, okay. So you, 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 you might have uh, slipped up and, you know, did something on the Sabbath you weren't supposed to do, you know. Hey, ask the Heavenly Father to forgive you, repent for it, and try your best not to do it again, man. And keep and get up and fight. Keep fighting, man. It's a fight. It's not a. It's not a a, a, a clinic or or just a you fighting a guy with no arms, you know. No, no, no. You, you're fighting a, fo a, fo a formidable foe, man. In Shatan. You got to keep fighting. He's going to hit you in your chin. You're going to fall on your ass a lot of times, man. But you have to get up and keep punching, man. You know? Instead of just laying on the ground, punching yourself in the head like, fuck, fuck. No, nah, man. Get up and keep fighting, man. Why? Because, hey, there's a crown laid up for those that endure to the end. Paul told you that, you know? Um... Yeah, so you know the big, big, big part of this is is faith, man. You know, having faith, even though the wretched man that that we are, you know, and then Paul called himself wretched. How wretched are we? <laughs> okay, and we know his history that he was persecuting Jews and kicking against the pricks, you know, and had to get knocked off a horse and taught by Yahweh Shah personally, you know. 
But, um, hey, we've done way worse, you know. We've done worse, you know. Yet we're still in his ministry and his faith teaching his word. So that's, that's, that's uh, enough reason to have faith within itself, okay. This is, um, this is Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40, and I started, uh, mm, let's see. I started 28, Isaiah 40 and 28, but the point is uh, 31, okay. It says, uh, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power, uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the creator of the ends of the earth, faint him not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Uh, he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Okay, and that would be us, man. We acknowledge it. me and the brother lawyer. Um, we were just talking about that last night, you know, that we don't have any might over here. Look, we're amongst the wisest men on the face of the planet, but we ain't shit, man, you know. And when I say that, I mean, like, we, we, we're we not in the lot that we're supposed to be in, man. And we can't, we can't profess, well, we do profess it, but we can't, we can't hasten anything, you know. We just, we just got to deal with the hand we were dealt, man, and wait on the Lord, you know. But, uh, hey, hey there's the comfort. And that's why you can't beat yourself up, because the scriptures say he give it power to the faint. Yeah, we're faint. We faint. We can't do shit, man. We have no might. You say, you know. But if we wait on the heavenly Father, He's gonna give us. He's gonna give us power. And and, and them that have no might, He increases strength. Verse thirty. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fail. Okay. And this is speaking of uh, the, the wrath and the hell that the heavenly Father is about to bring on this place. Okay. It ain't about youth. You know, in those times, who's younger, who's faster, quicker? Nah. It's about who the heavenly Father is dealing with. Okay. Verse 31, it says, But they that wait upon Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not be faint. Okay? So here, that's, there it is, man. There it is. You know? This is a promise. This is the same book that uh, that said that Sodom and Gomorrah uh, 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 would, 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 be, uh, would be obliterated, you know? Uh, uh, will be burnt off the face of the earth. This is the same book that said that uh, uh, that the Most High would no longer flood out the earth anymore, but He would put a bow in the sky to show His covenant between Him and Noah. And we still see that 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 bow in the sky today. Okay, same book, man. Same book saying that if we wait on the Lord, we're gonna mount up with wings and fly and run and not be tired. Okay. So yeah, don't don't you know don't 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 don't. don't. Don't stab yourself in the back, man, because, you know, because you, 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 you subject to this wicked flesh, man. You know, just keep fighting. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Um, we're, we're, we're real close. Real close. This is. Uh, this is. Uh, this is Romans eight. And I think I will start at. Um. Mm, I started at 16, uh, but the point is at 18, it says Romans uh, 8 and 16, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the heavenly father. Okay. And the spirit being the scriptures. Okay. And just the vibration of your how about Shemiah was shy. That's how we know that we're the children of Israel. And if a person can't, can't, can't get, uh, can't, can't, can't respect that or, or understand that by us trying our spirit with the spirit that lets us know that we're Israelites, fuck them. It's not for him anyway. Okay. Verse 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the most high and joint heirs with Mashiach, which is uh, Yahweh Shah, who the word ignorantly calls uh, 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 Jesus. It says, if so, be that we suffer with him, that we may also uh, that we may be also glorified with him. Verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. OK, so, hey, comfort, 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 man. Yeah, you catch a hell. You're going to fuck off. We're going to hey, we're going to go off until Yahweh Shai redeems us, man, through the spirit and power of his, his father, Yahweh. OK, and that's just going to it's just going to be the case until we get out of here. And that's why we hasten the coming of the Lord, man, because we sick of sinning. We sick of going on. We know not to do it yet. We still do it like Paul said, you know, but the reality is.